everyone, Tiara here from Gypsy Fae Creations. Welcome, I am back with another pumpkin soap today. I know I've gone a little overboard on these fall soaps. I'm going to go overboard on the Halloween soaps, and I've probably said it a million times, but Halloween really is my favorite time of the year. Fall is when my birthday is, I just love the weather, I live in Maryland, we get a great autumn season, so I just take advantage of that, and I find so much inspiration from it. Um, also, I have not ever put real pumpkin inside of a soap, so let's just pumpkin it all up, okay? I am going to add some pumpkin puree to my soap recipe, and I may have also done something different to my soap table, we'll see if you guys notice, but let's get started. Right, chip chip. Wait, wait, wait. Mwah. my oils. I've got some lye water that has some sodium lactate and some um, titanium dioxide in here. And I'm going to mix that into my oils with the kitchen vibrator. And I've been doing a lot of kaolin clay in here so let's add some of that and give that a good whirl. Got that to a very light trace, and before I go and do anything like adding colors or fragrances to this, I'm just going to pour off a tiny little bit into this little container here that has some more titanium dioxide in it, because I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to add that to the top of the soap like a piping. So just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to add the fragrance which is a crafter's choice. It is a perfect pumpkin fragrance and it is absolutely perfect. It's got a little clove, cinnamon, um, maple I think is the other note that's in there and pumpkin, but it does have 6% vanillin in it. So I've mixed it up with a little bit of vanilla color stabilizer. And I'm going to put that in now. I am also going to put my pumpkin in now. There's about one and a half ounces of pumpkin in here. Ish, if I can get it all out. So I bought a whole entire can of pumpkin for one and a half ounces of pumpkin puree. I think I'll be using the other part of the can for maybe some baking. Just I have no choice. Time to bake something pumpkin as far as actually being able to eat it and not just bake with it. Alright, so I'm going to mix this up. It's already making a very pretty pumpkin-y color in there. So then I'm going to pour off some for the crust of the pie, which will be in this. And there's just the tiniest little bit of lustrous brown in there to make the crust color. And I'm going to try by pouring about three ounces off into there. And then I'm going to add some Sunset Orange Mica to the main batter. Actually, I think I, I think I want to wait on that. I'm going to pour in the crust first and make sure I have enough for the base of it first. And then if I need to add more to it, I can just go back. All right, got my cake mold here. It's a silicone cake mold that I got off Amazon and I'll leave the link to it. I have it on a cutting board so that it's very flimsy so that I can like tap it if I need to and it's easy to pick up and transport, but let's mix this brown up. That looks good. And then I'm going to pour, start pouring into my mold here, just into the bottom. And I just want a thin layer 
then I'm going to let set up so that I can pour whoops, the orange in over top of it. Don't want that running down the side. Got to scrape the bottom of it to make sure everything came out of it. Let's see if I can get that back in there. You guys might notice the new table, and it's not a new table. It is, in fact, the old table. I got tired of looking up at the like pock marks and all. Like lye and fragrance really are corrosive. I guess that is the word I'm looking for to a lot of surfaces. So I, I wanted to buy a new table, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm happy with this one, it's very convenient, but it's not meant for soap making. Alright, so I do need a little bit more crust color here, so I'm going to pour a little bit more into this and add a tiny little bit of the brown. And mix that up. I think I added a little too much brown on that one. Let's just keep pouring here. But we'll see how the soap table holds up because I am definitely putting it to the test right now with all the mess that I'm making. Right. So now I'm gonna let these sit. I'm gonna come back when they're ready and pour in the rest of my soap batter. Isn't it lovely? It's like faux marble. <laughs> it is in fact the same table. It was an Ikea table that I had that comes in three pieces and you just kind of stack it together. It's lightweight, it's a good size, it fits where I want it to. At the moment it works for me. Um, I just wanted to temporarily fix the ugliness that was on the surface of it. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the sunset orange to here and give that a mix and I had one I had posted a preview of it when it was done on my Instagram account and a, a watcher or subscriber had commented saying I'm really gonna miss the cup ring that was on there and I can guarantee I don't miss it but a little secret all I did was flip the table over it is still on the other side so if you ever want to see it let me know Oh, she said it made it look foreign when I was soaping if I didn't soap on the table with the cup ring. I thought that was really cute. Um, it's just some vinyl flooring that we went to a Home Depot and Bradley trimmed up and just stuck on here. And hopefully it, it you know, it's a temp again, temporary fix until I find a table that I like. But it, it seems to be holding up. I, I really do like the look of it. And I don't know, hopefully... It just works. I just want it to work. It is covering up the ugly and making this look a little prettier. So let's mix in this sunset orange mica into this batter. All right, that looks good enough. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl and we can pour it into the mold. It still has some little specks in there because, you know, I'm soaping with pumpkin. Why pumpkin? Well, why not? It's a pumpkin soap. If you can put something in a soap recipe and still call it soap, why not try it? Because that, that, that was kind of what I wanted to do. Um, I don't know. They say pumpkin has lots of antioxidants and vitamins to it, so I guess that's supposed to be good for the skin. It does add a little bit of a natural colorant to it. It might even make this look a little more realistic. So, gonna give it a try. And who knows, if I like it, I'm gonna end up putting pumpkin in all of my soaps. You guys are going to hate me. All right, so I'm just gonna 
pour in to each one of these cavities. And go. Hopefully it's set up enough. Oh yeah, it is. Yay. So I'm gonna go through and just pour in each one of these until I've got them all filled. I can then go back over and fill in some more once they're all where I want them. If that makes sense, probably not. I'm just gonna go back over once they're all filled. I'm gonna go back over and add more to them so that they're all even. This smells so good. It smells just like pumpkin pie. I wanna eat this. Of course, all my soaps look like you can eat them, I guess. A lot of my food soaps. People are like, it's too pretty to use, or I wanna eat that, I thought it was cake. Well, yay, I am glad, because that is, that is a compliment. Although, please use the soap, that is what it's for. I can make more, I get that a lot. Looks good, so I'm just gonna scrape this out and give it a little tap to make sure everything is even and there are no air bubbles in there. I still have my little white bowl, white soap bowl icing over here. That's not quite set up, so I'm just gonna put this to the side and wait till I can pipe it. All right, just gonna do a little dollop on these and put the finishing touch on them. <clears throat> because I had never soaked with pumpkin before, I did do a little research because I wasn't sure if you had to do something special with it, kind of like if you were to soak with beer or wine, and I did go on Soap Queen and just, you know, dig through their arch archives and see if they've ever soaked with pumpkin. Of course they have. And they just, they added the puree right to it. So I'm, I'm happy that it's something that you can easily just throw into any soap if you want. All right. <clears throat> Final touch. I've got these leaves. I've used these on a couple of soaps now and I thought it would just be Cute to just prop them up in the icing like this. <clears throat> so cute. And then to make this look even more realistic, actually, probably should have done this first. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little tiny shake of cinnamon on this, just to make it look real, more realistic. It's crazy, right? It's soap. I'm trying to make it look like pumpkin pie. And this will probably just wash off after the initial use, but for now, it's just a little decoration. Whoa, too much. All right. I like it, I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna let these sit. They don't have to sit long. They're already like pulling away from the mold. So they, they, they're probably like six to eight hours, but I am going away right after I, I turn this camera off. I'm going on a little weekend trip. So I will come back Monday, which today is Friday. So they're gonna sit for a while, which is fine. And I'll come back and unmold them. And I'll have little pumpkin pie slices. All right, so these are ready to come out of the mold. Just gonna pop a few out. I'm in love with the color. Really love that pumpkin-y color that I got in that. 
gorgeous. And there's the bottom of it. Looks just like the crust. Smells delicious. Do a couple more. If you want to get your hands on one of these pumpkin pie slices, they will be in the Etsy shop on the first day of autumn, which is going to be on September 22nd. Oh, they smell so good, I want to eat it. <laughs> as well as the birch um, autumn walk soap that I made, and there's going to be a couple restocks in there, like the Harry Potter butterbeer soap and the space soap. So be sure to check out the Etsy shop on August 22nd. Do one more of these. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, smell you later.